Hi there, this is Ian from MakeUseOf.com and today we are looking at how to install PIP for Python. If you've never used PIP before, it is Python's package manager and it is what you will use for pretty much everything you do. Well, the first thing is, do you really need to install PIP? Um, depending on what version of Python you have, you probably already have it. Um, open up a console and type in pip dash dash version. This works no matter whether you're on Linux, Mac or uh, Windows and press enter. And if you come up with a version of pip, then you already have it installed. If you've done this check and you do have pip, but you're still running into problems with it, it might just be that you have the wrong version of it installed. If you enter this command, which is Python space dash M space pip space install space dash capital U space pip, it will update the version of pip that you have on your computer. Um, if you are running Mac, it is a slightly different command. You can see it here, pip install dash U pip. The reason you already have pip is that most versions of Python these days come with pip pre-installed. As the official documentation says, everything above version 2.7.9 and Python 3.4 have it already. As you can see here, the installers for Python 3.7.2 and Python 2.7.16, we're on now, both have pip listed in the installers. If you're using an older version of Python 3, like for example 3.3.5, uh, the pip website does have a get pip script you can download. However, if you do download it and run it, I'm afraid you're going to run into some problems. And uh, a quick look at the uh, support for Python here in their GitHub will explain why. Um, they dropped support for anything before Python 3.4 with pip version 10. If you are running an even older version of Python, like for example, Python 2.6.4, um, on the same website there is a script for Python 2.6. However, unfortunately, if you do download and try and use this script, you will get a lot of errors. And that is because um, in the, uh, an official thread here, um, they discuss stopping supporting Python 2.6, which is something that they have already done. Um, unless you absolutely have to use Python 2.6, I have no idea why you would upgrade to Python 2.7 or Python 3. For the sake of completion, on the off chance that you're running Python 2.7 point something before 2.7.9, you may be thinking, ah, well, um, I can get pip then. Uh, as you can see, I have a version of Python 2.7 installed here, and I'm going to run the get pip script, and unfortunately, it's going to run into all kinds of problems. This time, because of SSL certificates, it's a little bit above today for me to explain what that means, but if you are interested, I suggest searching it on Stack Overflow, where a lot of people have talked about it in the past. In short, if you are using Python 2.7, I cannot see any reason not to update the latest version of Python 2.7, which is 2.7.16, I think. Um, the chances of that not being compatible with what you're working on are almost zero. Or just convince the company you're working for to move to Python 3. It's much better. So there you have it. If you want to use pip with Python, I would upgrade your version of Python. There doesn't really seem to be any other way to get it, and I can't see why you wouldn't simply upgrade to a newer version. This video was based on an article on the Make Use of website called How to Install Pip for Python by Joel Lee. It's a fantastic article. Give it a read, and if you're not already one of our subscribers on the YouTube channel here, think about giving us a subscription. We do tutorials, we also do reviews and giveaways every week, along with tech tips. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.